Hey guys, so in this video here, what we're going to be running through is the Victron products. Now the way I like to start and I think about things and the way I always design my systems, I start from the roof and I come down. So now with the Victron gear, we come down to the MPPTs or the solar chargers. Now there's two different types of MPPTs and it really depends whereabouts in the world that you are and what you can use. Now in Australia, as an example, we're not allowed to use all these MPPTs. We have to use a lot of the higher ones when we're installing for customers or doing things like that because they have to have an earth fault alarm built into them. And it all really depends whereabouts you are in the world or what voltage you're allowed to play with and things like that. So just take into consideration what you can and can't do in your country with these Victron products. So you'll see these new big square ones, they're the ones that are building with the earth fault alarms and they can take the higher voltages Pretty much a rule of thumb, the higher the voltages get, the less they want people DIY playing around with them. And these ones have that earth fault alarm in them. Now, if you want to use any of these other products here in Australia, you know, I'm based in Australia, and a lot of people that be doing these courses are based in Australia as well, you just require an earth fault alarm. So in Australia, this is actually an Australian made product by Aerial. And there's actually one really good thing about it. It actually just doesn't protect your MPPTs or show there's a fault on the roof, it actually protects your whole system. So if there is an earth fault, to say for example, a rat or a mice or something's chewed on a bit of cable or something's been nicked and the RCD just didn't quite trip, this earth guard will let you know about that so it protects the whole system. So anything that goes to ground, it'll actually protect it. So really good investment. They're worth about $600 I think here in Australia. And you know, as an example in Australia here, if you want to use these 250 slash 60 or 70 MPPTs, you'd require to put an earth fault alarm in there to be able to use it and comply with the Australian rules and regulations. But you know, if you're in the States or the UK, uh, I think the UK might have a similar rule, but the States don't. You can just whack them up and you're fine. You don't need to worry about the earth fault alarm. Now, the next thing we'll talk about is Victron's all-in-one units. Now, with these all-in-one units, so they actually take solar and they're an inverter charger all in one. So you can actually whack your solar panel straight into them and you whack your generator into them and it'll actually charge your battery. So they're an all in one unit. A lot of the new products are under these more the multi RSs uh, and the smart solars. So if you think about this from a programming point of view, these products you tend to use the Victron Connect app and you connect them through the Victron Connect app to do anything locally. The Victron Connect app actually has a lot more features and functionality than VRM locally. So you can do a lot more with that there. But from a remote point of view, programming and doing things, you can still use the Victron Connect app remotely and do it all from your phone or from your desktop. I actually use it on my desktop, Victron Connect. It doesn't have all the features and functionality as VRM does. And as time goes on, I know Victron are really focused on making these products. You can do everything from an app on your phone and you don't really require to log into the VE config, which is great. And these products here, you can config everything from the Victron Connect app. You actually don't need the VE config files and to be able to log in with a laptop.